first to third. On the pool deck, maybe the best event for the Toronto Titans in the women's 200 meter backstroke. Kylie Moss about to make her season two debut. She's gonna be at the top in lane number seven. She won this event, Rowdy, a season ago twice with the Cali Condors and with Minna Atherton, not a part of ISL 2020, this might be a huge event for her to win all season long. Yeah, a little better in the 100 backstroke, being the Olympic bronze medalist and double world champ, but also very, very good, especially in the short course meter 200 backstroke, where, as you said, she won a couple times last year. So Moss is going to be out in lane number seven. Lisa Braden next to her in lane number eight. Braden this season to go swim with DC Triton, so again, Roster's making moves. There's Braden on the right side of the screen. Kylie Moss on the left side of the screen. And those are the only two swimmers at this moment that are rated in the ISL top 10 in this event. Moss coming in rated number two. Braden rated number five. And a chance for some big points for Toronto, who is currently number three. And again, if you're new to ISL 2020, the big difference maker we've seen so far is the jackpot time. It's almost five seconds in this event. On paper, certainly doesn't look like they're going to get there with the jackpot. Bratton's been 2007. The slowest person in the field is Sakai in 2041. But, you know, interesting that Moss and Bratton were both on different, different teams last year and now teammates. So this was a great pickup for both. Uh, Bratton and Moss with Toronto, and you can see they're making an impact early on. Of course, it is early on. The two Japanese swimmers down there below, Shirai and Sakai, will also be very tough again coming off their national championships. Shirai only four one hundredths off of Kylie Moss. This is eight lengths of the pool. This 200 backstroke, mid distance. And look at Shirai. She's going to push the pace here on the second 50. And it looks like Shirai and Moss. Starting to maybe pull a little bit away from the rest of the field. It looks like Rio Shirai, who was a finalist of the World Championship in the 200 free, is going to be the leader halfway through this 200 backstroke. Boy, she's flying out right now. 59-4 for Shirai. That's quick going out. 31-1, 31-2 on that second 50 for Moss and Bratton, respectively. Bratton. Bratton, a much better second half swimmer. Yeah, and you can see Bratton in lane number eight at the top of the screen. Now on the right side, she is starting to pick up her pace. Bratton trying to get her first ever ISL win. And Lisa Bratton's got the lead with 50 meters to go, folks. And look at this, Toronto Titans now 1-2, picking up the pace. Well, Bratton was fourth at the 100 mark, a 002, and now all of a sudden she goes from fourth to first just on that third 50 alone and she does keep getting better the second 50 could be maybe of a mild upset I'm, I'm not so sure if Bratton does win this Lisa Bratton second in the first ever ISL meet she's victorious for the first time in her career big points for the Toronto Titans they go one two they'll get at least 16 it looks like a little jackpot playing a role there uh, that's just, that's a nice swim for Toronto to keep them in the mix. Nice one-two punch for Bratton and Moss. A and again, I never did consider Bratton a, an underdog going into this event. Certainly 100 back she would, but she just keeps getting better and better. Far right-hand side of your screen, you see her teammate right there. Really made it look easy for both of them. 201 plus, that's the fastest time thus far for any 200 backstroker in the circuit. Yeah, big time start. Three extra points scored by Brown, so she scores 12. Her teammate scores 19.